9.13 on a Sunday and I am out scouring to connect with businesses, small businesses who quite possibly need social media. The name of the game is to get up every day and keep moving forward, keep making connections, keep talking to people, keep telling your story, keep telling everybody what it is you do. Because by the end of the day, if you don't know who I am, I'm not doing what I need to do. I'm giving every single one of you an inside look of what it really takes to build a media company or any company from scratch. And it's literally doing the legwork. Now, there is a strategy that I've always implemented and you make sure that you don't go farther than 15 minutes away from where you live so that it's easy access to any business that you're working with. I've only been on the road for about five minutes and I see a lot of potential businesses that I wanna hit. I just need to make sure that they're local and that they need help with social media. Because if they're doing all right, I'm not gonna waste my time. In terms of helping them with social media, that is. I will look for businesses that are doing very well so that I can partner up with them, maybe look for sponsorships. Build those relationships with people who are doing very well for themselves. Another part of my strategy is writing down a list of businesses that I want to tackle as far as their address, the name of the business, their Instagram handles. Take a look at what they're doing on social media, see if it's a perfect fit for you. Get to know every single business. I'm headed towards Colfax right now just to hit up some of the local shops and local businesses. It's amazing that I've only spent five months here in Denver and I can see how much is growing day in and day out. What's being torn down, what's being rebuilt. This city is so hyper vigilant within its own growth and so self-aware and it gives me so much comfort to know that I have so many options to work with so many different types of people. A couple of blocks away from me, up on Park Avenue, I found La Bouche, a true wine bar that serves brunch and dinner, owned by French owners who moved here to create a true French dining experience. Their breakfast is amazing, their menu is amazing. They're actually really affordable. The quality of food is delicious. I mean, just look at this breakfast, oozing. Lord have mercy, it's delicious. They've been open in September, so my goal is to truly shine light on where they are, who they are, what they're doing, and really build this community. I'm here in Welton in Five Points. It's pretty, pretty awesome. One of the things that I have to do for Mod Atlas Media and Modtography is let everybody know that I'm here. Let them know who I am, what I've done for the last 20 years, and build these partnerships all across the city. Welton is just filled with so many staples and amazing little restaurants and shops. Like mimosas right here. A perfect blend of history and modernization. Such an amazing strip. I'm about to go visit some of these shops right here. I'm gonna go say hi to Moods, Beats, and Potions. This is why I recommend always walking into places that you just don't know anything about. So Moods, Beats and Potions wasn't what I thought they would be. Uh, that place is an amazing restaurant, just such a gem that I would have never expected. It's owned by the Burkettes, a very prominent family right here who grew up right here on Welton is the story. Five points, I should say, and they also own Mimosas down the street, which is another little cool place I'm gonna go check out later. But 
Again, this is just the importance about building community, introducing yourself as a content creator or somebody who wants to be engaged in the community. This is what it's all about.